A blessed day, everyone. We are here again to another fun and exciting topic about foods. I am Miss G, your cookery teacher. I just want to know, I just want to ask you, what is your favorite partner for rice? Maybe we both think of the same thing. And since most of us love to eat meat, what recipe do you usually prepare out of it? Okay, let us start to broaden our perspective by discussing the most essential learning competency. And that is to identify the market forms, composition and structure of meat. You have to be ready because you are going to identify the market forms of meat, the structure and its composition. So at the end, you will learn how to value the importance of acquiring knowledge on meat composition. For what? For you to be able to produce quality meat products. So are you ready to learn? Let us start by extracting what is meat. Meat is a term for flesh of cattle, beef and veal. So beef is the meat of cattle, while veal is the term for the meat of a young cow or cattle with less than a year old. Then we also have pork, which comes from pig. We also have lamb, which comes from sheep. And meat also comprises water, protein, fat, and other amount of minerals and vitamins. Now let's move on to the market forms of meat. We have the first one, it is called the fresh meat. They are meat that is recently slaughtered and has not been preserved or been chilled, followed by what we call chilled meat. They are meat that is placed on a chiller or they've been slightly cold. The next market form is called cured meat. They have been treated with curing agent solution like salt, sodium nitrate, sugar, and spices. One of the popular example of this cured meat is our all-time favorite, tocino. Next market form of meat is called the processed meat. They are meat preserved by chemical process. It has been modified in order to either improve its taste or to extend its shelf life. Example of these meat products are bacon, ham, sausages, salami, corned beef, and hot dogs. Now let's move on to canned meat. They are cooked meat products and only require to be reheated. And just like the processed meat, these undergo chemical process to prolong its shelf life. Lastly, we have dried meat, are those dehydrated meat. Drying involves the reduction of the original 70% of water content of the meat to about 15%. With that, I guess you are already mastered the different market forms of meat. So let's proceed now to its composition. Meat is composed of 75% water of the muscle tissue, while protein which is about 20% of the muscle tissue. Protein coagulates when it is heated. And this means firmer and loss of moisture. Coagulation is also related to doneness. Lastly, fat, 5% of the muscle tissue. But did you know that fat contributes to the juiciness, tenderness, and flavor of meat? That is why even it is just a 5%, still it is important because it gives the wow factor to our meat dishes. With that, I wanted to make a brief explanation on how to market meat. You may give tips or suggestions on how to buy the best quality meat. And if you still have questions, you can message me at my Facebook Gina Isilia, I hope you enjoy our lesson today. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.